We are thrilled and grateful to announce that we have reached a significant milestone, 10,000 subscribers. So we extend our heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you for your incredible support, engagement, and loyalty. Your continued enthusiasm and feedback inspires us to create even better content and strive for excellence. So thank you for being part of our journey and for making this achievement possible. And to commemorate our 10,000 subscribers, we are reviewing the Grand Seiko Tentograph, SLGC-001 today. The Tentograph is the standout Grand Seiko from Watches and Wonders this year and receives its name from its movement beating at 10 beats per second, so 10, it having a three-day power reserve, T, it being automatic, uh, and a chronograph, graph, hence Tentograph. It features a newly modified 9SC5 movement, which uses the highly sophisticated high beat 9SA5 caliber as its base, and adds all of the high-end chronograph internals that you would ever want. Plus, it is packaged in an Evolution 9 case with the Mount Awate dial. Grand Seiko also is using a new additional three-day testing procedure while the chronograph is on to test out these watches before they ship. But is this the top chronograph in existence right now? Or is this just another failed attempt at innovation? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Moonshine Gold Omega Speed Master Moonwatch with the green dial. This piece has a lot to love for the top collectors since it is very hard to get and has a significant weight to it in gold, but the price is not insignificant at $39,400. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Grand Seiko Snowflake SBGA 211, which is still, in my opinion, the best Grand Seiko to start with since it offers the best things about Grand Seiko, including an iconic snow texture dial, the spring drive movement, and Zeratsu polished titanium construction. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Grand Seiko SLGC001 Tentograph has a 44.6 millimeter case width, a 15.4 millimeter thickness, a 51 millimeter lug to lug, a 22.8 millimeter lug width, a 35.9 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 154.19 grams. The case is made out of high-intensity titanium, which is an alloy of titanium, niobium, and iron, and is approximately 100 vickers harder than stainless steel and 30% lighter. It is the Evolution 9 case, which has brushed finish on the top of the lugs, with a facet of high polish on the edges, and more brushed finish on the sides. The screw-down crown is seated in the center of an integrated crown protector at the 3 position, and has the GS logo signed at the tip. The start-stop pusher is at the 2 position and reset pusher at the 4 position. The bezel is ceramic and is in black with a white tachymeter grade. The crystal is box style and sits slightly above the bezel. The dial is what Grand Seiko calls the Mount Awate pattern, which takes inspiration from the ridged contours of the nearby mountain visible from the Grand Seiko studio Shizuku Ichi, which is the home place of Grand Seiko's mechanical watchmaking. The markers are part of the Series 9 style, which are broad and easy to read and are in Grand Seiko's perfect high polish, with a fifth second scale along the edge of the dial in white. Grand Seiko, GS, and Tentograph are found at the top middle portion in silver tone. The hour and minute hands are Dauphine style in silver tone, with a white second hand for the chronograph. The actual second subdial is at the right middle portion with a blue background, white markers, 60 in silver tone, and the hand is also in silver tone. The 30 minute chronograph subdial is at the left middle portion with a blue background, white minute markers, 30 and 50 in silver tone, and a silver toned hand. The hour chronograph subdial can be found at the bottom center with a blue background, white 30 minute markers, silver 12, 9, 3, and 6 numerals, and a silver toned hand. The date window is between the four and five markers and has a silver frame, blue background, and white numerals. The Tentograph has great loom on all of its hour markers and on the hour and minute hands, but not on the chronograph second hand. 
The case back is open and you can see the movement, which looks very similar to the 9SA5, since what is really different is behind what you can see. The 9SC5 is a modified 9SA5 caliber with basically a chronograph module installed on top of it. It has a column wheel, which allows the mechanism to start and stop smoothly when pushed. And it really does have a unique and surprisingly light feel to it when you push it. It has a vertical clutch, which prevents hands from slipping when the chronograph starts, a three-pointed hammer to ensure that all three chronograph displays snap back to the zero position instantly and in perfect synchronization when they are reset. This is a high beat 36,000 beat per hour or 10 beat per second mechanism, and you can really see how smooth this chronograph hand is. It has a dual impulse escapement that lets the escapement wheel transmit power directly to the balance, which leads to a significant increase in efficiency. It has a free sprung balance, which allows it to be more shock resistant and maintain accuracy over longer periods of time. It has a 72 hour power reserve and an accuracy of minus three to plus five seconds per day. The bracelet is Evolution 9 style, is made out of high intensity titanium and is 22 millimeters wide with a complete matte finish. A folding clasp can be found with the GS logo and four clicks of spring bar micro adjust. The Grand Seiko SLGC001 Tetagraph is part of the Evolution 9 collection, is 100 meter water resistant, and can be yours for $13,700. Now for my personal opinion. This is a very pleasant surprise. I really thought that this may be too thick and large in general, but it looks and feels great even on my six and a half inch wrist. The smoothness of the chronograph secondhand is mesmerizing, and I don't know why it looks smoother than the other high beats, but it really does seem to. The tactile feel of the start stop pusher is really nice as well, and this is as premium as the price tag when it comes to chronographs in every way. I appreciate that they clean this dial up with only the essentials needed and no extra bloat in the negative areas. The dial is not extremely textured, but the Mount Awate is always a nice one, and I'm glad to see it here. The extra three days of testing that this movement will receive should really be reassuring to those of you who have doubted the 9SA5 base caliber in the past, and I'm confident that this will be very precise. I think that Grand Seiko has knocked it out of the park with how sophisticated this piece is, from the movement to the case design, and they even had fun with the name, which makes me happy since they are known for taking themselves a little bit too seriously. I'll recommend this piece for anyone who is after one of the most complex and fascinating chronographs on the market, or just wants a great conversation starting piece on your wrist if you're in the midst of enthusiasts. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.